I very much enjoy my very new tripod. All right guys, so this is the tripod. Nice little ball head. Not really sure what I would call this, the top half, uh, where you would attach the camera. It's got a few of these cool little things to let you know if it's even, but the carbon fiber legs are what got me. They look so cool, and it's very durable, very sturdy, and in the one day I've owned it, or not even one day, 15 hours, I've gotten a good amount of use out of this thing, so very happy. All right, so I realized that when I was talking to you guys about how excited I was about that the legs on the tripod were carbon fiber, I instantly realized I don't even know what the significance of having carbon fiber legs is. So I went on Google and this is what I found. Carbon fibers have several advantages, including high stiffness, high tensile strength, low weight, high chemical resistance, high temperature tolerance, and low thermal expansion. High stiffness, I'm guessing that it's not flimsy, it's not frail, it's not gonna, you know, if you put any real pressure on it, it's gonna be able to withstand it. Low weight, it's actually very light, that is actually accurate. High chemical resistance and high, temper to high temperature tolerance, sorry guys. High temperature tolerance, I would imagine if it's out in the sun for too long, you're not gonna get any issues. I just found out mom hasn't been using the mouse I gave her. This is very disappointing. Now we plug it in, only to find out <laughs> There's no batteries in it. Or well, the, there's batteries in it, but the batteries are dead. You guys see that right there? That is my tripod, my new tripod. Actually fits, it fits on the bag really, really nicely. But with the laptop now and the tripod on there, this thing is heavy, bro. Some of the fav my favorite things in my mom's house, her Kobe Bryant, the mama mentality book. She says it's good, but it's mostly pictures. Her chest, which she gave me for my office. So it's amazing. Me, my brother, actually this is a cool picture. It's me, my mom, and my brother at Mo's wedding. And then that's my mom and my sister. I can't really go anywhere with my cell phone. Oh my God. I thought I forgot it inside. Right here. Oh boy, this is in my pocket. Jess is like on the cusp, completely passing out what looks to be for the rest of the night. Didn't even get to show her my tripod. What's going on guys, good morning. Oh, nice good stretch. All right, so today is exciting. I'm off to meet a woman by the name of Anna who might be coming to work at my store. I need help, she's willing to help. So that's where I'm going, I'm off to meet her. Plus I'm gonna see Amber, I'm gonna see Sarah because they're actually at the store today. So let's go meet this, uh, let's go meet this woman. We're here to see Anna, potentially a new employee, which I'm excited about. I just gotta gather all my shit here. Sanitizer, cell phone, donut. I ordered two donuts and he only gave me one. I gotta check if he even charged me, but it's just a fucking donut to be honest, but still, only gave me one. Sanitize my hands first. I'm gonna eat the donut before I go inside. Just because I, I can't carry out this car. That's Amber's car. Well, it's her rental, but she's thinking about getting it. You get that Jeep. I better be the first person you let drive that car. I think it's only fair because I encourage you to get it. So it's only fair that you let me drive it first. Jess's breakfast. I didn't realize that like the gas station to Morton's don't sell breakfast wraps or anything like that. They basically just sell quick and easy stuff to make. So I had to get you something different. All right, so I went and met with Anna. It was a good positive visit. She seems super knowledgeable, super hardworking. I haven't heard anybody say anything bad about this individual. So as long as all bodes well, Super excited to have her on board. Now, I gotta go meet my mom because we gotta buy Jen a birthday gift. Her birthday is tomorrow. She turns, I believe 40. I could be wrong, it's either 39 or 40. No, it's 39, because she's four years older than me and I'm only 35. But, hold on, wait a second. 
No, it has to be 40 because I'm turning 36. Yeah, it's 40. So I'm not actually sure if we need to go to a store to get Jen her luggage. That's what she wants. That's what my mom told me. Send me a bunch of pics. I'm just going to go over by my mom's to verify that I actually have the right package. Because if I can get it by tomorrow, I'm going to order it off Amazon. I don't want to go into the malls or anything like that. It's fucking crowded. Oh, 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 oh. TV behind there. Like today is going to be one of those days where it's like non-stop up down in out so much to do with so little time to do it but it's gotta get done oh look at all the sun in the background it is so hot here like this is the only place that you can actually get shade at the moment literally right here on these steps We got Jen's gift. What the hell is this? So we got Jen's gift. We're good to go. The beauty of Amazon Prime. It'll be here tomorrow. They always say nine o'clock, but hopefully it comes sooner so that she actually gets the gift on her birthday. That's the hope. If not, at least the gift is still purchased. Worst case scenario. But we're going to the grocery store now. We gotta get some food for Jen's birthday. Celebration. We are now officially in the line at Tim Hortons. I already had one today, so this is number two. We're moving, we're moving. I'm looking at their breakfast menu and I'm thinking, should I get something? But I'm like, nah, I'm gonna resist. She's got her sanitary measures in place. Hmm. Come here, say hello. Oh, get her shoes, on. shoes on. I thought you, you were shoe shopping. I wanna introduce them to you, Louis. Cool. The audience, say hello. <laughs> what audience? The audience. I have hey, I have subs, okay? I don't have a lot, but I have subs. Say hello. Hi. How are you? I'm good. No, I'm you say to them how are you? <laughs> Which one should I get? I actually like these Giuseppe ones. These ones are really good. I get I get these two. No, I don't want Canadian. I want deluxe. Where's deluxe? No, that's thin crust. Oh, this one's deluxe. I j oh meat, that's what I want. Oh, So we're finished shopping. We, I think we got everything we need. Mom got her soda, all of that good stuff. Now we're gonna see if we can squeeze all this junk into the trunk. Mom was gonna buy toilet paper, but I let her know I still got some in here. <laughs> Whew, it is hot out here. But yeah, like I was saying, I think we got everything that we need for tomorrow. I got me some snacks for tonight. All right, so the groceries are away, Jess. Thank you for reminding me 10 times before you left because if you didn't, I wouldn't have done it. For the remainder of the day, I'm gonna relax. I have two videos to finish. One is a vlog. One is, I don't, it's not a vlog, but it's definitely not like a product review. It's, just watch it when it comes out. Jess has gone to help Jake, Allison, and Justin prepare for the gender reveal party tomorrow. That is for Jen, Jake's sister, and her husband, Majdi. Because I'm solo tonight, that means I gotta get my own dinner prepared. Jess asked me, she was, what are you gonna have for dinner? And I'll be honest, I was gonna cave and totally get Uber Eats. I'm not gonna do that. I got me a nice pizza. I bought two of them. I'm not eating two of them. But I'm gonna make that one right now. Hold on. Jess sticks the pizza. Oh, that's going down. Thank you, Jess. We have to stick it in there because we don't have no space in our kitchen. Right between this little nook here. That was so loud. I'm sorry, guys. I thought I'd share something with you guys before I go. So about a week ago, I said I was gonna take a break from YouTube. And I never really elaborated on that. So I figured I'd take a few minutes to do that now. What I meant was I'm just gonna take a, a, a step away because I had become extremely, extremely involved with the numbers, how the video was doing. And though those things are important, that's never the reason why I started this. I never did it for that. I always looked at content and said, are my videos getting better day by day? I never pulled up the analytics page and was like, oh my God, how can I make this better? And one of the reasons 
why I've never been like that is because I don't hope to make money from this. I understand that a lot of people do. I'm not that person. Would I love to grow an audience and a following? 100%, but not for monetary value, just because it would validate the fact that I'm growing, I'm getting better. That's all that I've wanted from this. So when I became obsessed with checking my phone and checking analytics and checking audience retention and, and the views, I realized I'm like, man, this isn't me. This isn't why I started this. Why am I so fixated on this? So I decided to take a break and just go back to the way that I was in being that just, I just wanted to make good videos and continue to get better at making videos. And I feel like now I'm there. This is the first video back. Hopefully you guys enjoy it. I wanna thank you guys for sticking around. Hopefully you stuck it out to the end to hear this part of the video and yeah. I'll see you guys in a couple of days. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you soon. Peace.